During a time when funding is needed more than ever for the university, South Carolina State Board of Trustees approve a draft for a proposed capital campaign plan. The university says the funding proposal will raise $20 million over the next three years. It is an answer. SC State's acting president, Dr. Franklin Evans, says the university is being proactive by raising their own money. The school will owe a combined $23.5 million to its vendors and the state by June, according to a recent audit. As opposed to just sitting and waiting for the state to, to bail us out, we are showing that we are making good effort to do the things that we need to do here at South Carolina State. Dr. Evans says conversations about the capital campaign started back in January. Five. Trustees did not go into great detail about the plan at Monday's board meeting, rather just noting that it would recruit faculty, staff, students, parents, alumni, and the faith-based community to raise money. Evans says the school has three committed donors, however, those donors have not been made public. Everybody who is concerned, who loves South Carolina State, we need them to, to lend a hand, give support, uh, open your wallets and your pocketbooks, make a donation. The plan will move forward despite the fact state lawmakers have already passed measures to remove the current board of trustees. The school is currently under a hiring freeze and the campaign plan creates two new positions at SE State that would need board approval. Right now, Dr. Evans says they do not know where the money will come from to pay for the new positions, but that will be decided in the budget process. And this plan is still in a draft form as SE State trustee Grant says the committee still has to address specifics of the proposal and a soft deadline for the launch of the campaign is set for April 9th. In Orangeburg, Tara Pettit, Watch Fox News.